everyone and thanks for watching my online lesson on enlargements. So enlargements are one of the four transformations that you need to know at GCSE. In this video we're not going to be enlarging from a centre and we're not going to be looking at negative or fractional scale factors. So these are the more simple enlargements that you can be asked to do. So this question says on the grid draw an enlargement of the triangle Q with scale factor 3. So the scale factor tells us how much bigger the shape is going to become. So because the scale factor is 3, it means everything is going to be multiplied by 3 to get my new shape. So let's start by looking at the bottom of this triangle, the baseline. It is currently 2 squares across. So multiplying that by my scale factor, so 2 times 3 is 6, my new baseline is going to be 6 squares across. Now you need to use a pencil and a ruler when you do this. But I'm just going to do it freehand. So that is 6 squares across. The other side, the, the height of the triangle going up is only 1 square up. So that is going to become 3 squares up. So starting from this point, going 3 upwards, that is there. And there's no need for me to do the last side. I just need to join that up with a straight line. So that is my new triangle. And I could have drawn that anywhere on the grid. The location doesn't matter. I just did it down here because there was a spare bit of space. And that's my new triangle. Here's a slightly harder example for us to look at. And this time I'm enlarging it by scale factor of 2. Now I'm going to start with some of the straight edges because the diagonals are slightly harder to enlarge. So this edge here is two squares across, so that's going to become four squares across. Again, it doesn't matter where on the grid you draw this, as long as you try and leave yourself enough space. So that's going to become four. Then it goes up on the side there by one, so that's going to become two. And it goes down there by one, so that's going to go down by two. And now I'm kind of stuck, I have to deal with my diagonals. This diagonal here goes diagonally through one square. So my new diagonal is going to go through two squares, like this. Then I have my straight edge going up through the side, that's three, so that's going to become six. Again, this diagonal here goes through one square. So the new one is going to go through two squares. And then I've left the most complicated edge to last because I don't have to enlarge this one now. I can just join it up to my other points. Again, you need to make sure you do this with a ruler and a pencil. Thank you for watching.